Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today I'm at work. I have a couple of small tasks that I need to fix. One of them we've seen before, I have a um, have a 8 gigabyte memory block that I have to install in a server and I have to do that rather quick because uh, I've got a tiny little window for upgrading that server before the dude that has to turn everything back on again has to leave for something private. Don't know what, but I just got a tiny little time slot that I could use um, for upgrading and it shouldn't take long. So let's start with that and see how that goes. Okay, that didn't really go as planned because when I was about to upgrade this server, one of the area chiefs down here came and asked if I could do a tour of the data center because the new IT director was going to see the server room and uh, well, I only had that little window so I had to do this very very quick. So uh, I put in 8 gigabytes of more RAM and uh, booted the server as fast as possible. Well, I didn't get to show you that, but I did get to show the new IT director around uh, CIO. I did get to show him around and shake hands and woohoo! in a monitor back here just to um, be able to see what the server was doing it wasn't behaving very well so I was not able to shut it down fast enough that helped to put on a well I wasn't able to shut it down remotely fast enough on my laptop uh, so I put on the screen and the keyboard and the mouse and I did it that way that was quicker but well we have another server that has to um, be upgraded with RAM this one and that's a VMware host and it's uh, in an SQL cluster so it's a very expensive server that runs on this thing and right now it has 512 gigabytes of RAM and we want to upgrade it to 768 gigabytes of RAM so we're gonna be doing that I have to go assure that it's empty from virtual machines and shut it down Thank you very much, Microsoft. Yeah, I don't use this laptop that much, so every time I do need it, it's um, very slow because there's a million updates for it. But now it booted at least. Oh, Lenovo. Okay, I just checked and my colleague has put this server into maintenance and there is no servers on it. So I'll right click on it and I will shut down. And I'll type something more RAM. Whoever looks why this server is off can read that. Oh, it's gonna get more RAM. Hopefully, that's what they see. I'll minimize that and bring you over here to see the RAM that we're putting in. Here are the RAM blocks, and it's HP RAM, and it's 32 gigabytes. And it says that it's a kit. I don't get it because there's just one block. When is it not a kit? Are they kidding me? Well, I don't know. Did I press reset? Um, I was in here just putting on a screen and a monitor thing here and the thing was rebooting instead of shutting down. So, so I pressed the big button and turned it off. So now I need to um, get it out of there and put in the ramp. Here it is, and um, playing with the server, I'm gonna disconnect the power. I like that best. There we are. And I do have the anti-static wristband ready. Winers. I wanna start by checking that the RAM is light just take out well, which one should I take out that one 
just want to check that it's the same kind of RAM than um, what I'm putting in or the new blocks if it's not the same kind I might run into some trouble and looks similar yeah it has the same part number hasn't it yeah there can you see that no it's very hard to see on the camera but it has the same part number so even though they have painted the heat sink on it blue i think we're good so i'll put this one back in and unbox these and put them in in the empty slots This should be good to go. Being a SQL server, this server is equipped with two very high frequency, not very many calls processors I think this might be 8 cores 3.2 gigahertz or something like that I forget but because of the licensing of Microsoft SQL that's um, where you get most out of your money So we should be ready to power this back on and hopefully we will see 768 gigabytes of RAM. Okay I got a phone call but in the meantime the server booted and here is the CPUs actually 3.3 gigahertz and they are version 2 of the E5 2667 and we have the amount of RAM that we wanted so that's awesome. So I can go and um, tell the VMware environment that this server is good to go back online. The server has been taken out of maintenance and right now the first virtual server has been put back on it. And um, well, they will be dropping in and now there is room for some more. Some of these servers are rather big. So um, this upgrade has been, uh, I've been postponing it for a while, it's not that interesting actually. So, but I have some cleaning to do. I want to take some servers out of the rack that is coming out of service and I just want to go show you what's going out of service. Here are the servers that are going out of service. And this is also, this is the old SQL cluster. And um, these are actually IBM System X 30, 3650s Model 3. Those are the same as, as I have and well that's an awesome server and i'm kind of sad to see them going out of service too but i'll be taking those down off the rack and bringing them outside so they don't need to be in here anymore well that was a lot of work taking down six servers and uncabling them and the servers are now placed here and well and the cables are out here at the we have a stockpile of cables out there for when we install other servers except the the fiber channel things here those um, we usually don't reuse those because they tend to get bad when when they're handled too much so those are just I'll have them for safekeeping no reason to throw them out <clears throat> but they're not good enough for production anymore Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And remember to give this video a like. That's important for me to say. I can see in my statistics. So have a nice day. Bye bye.